Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada chat. Oh my goodness, hello. What did we just watch? <laughs> Episode 14 will be known for... <laughs> okay, I just have to say, we watched freaking 11 plus hours of damn digital dailies on Tuesday, only for that all to be null and void. <laughs> yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Oh for my this? god. All right, Absolutely so, insane. Last time, Lexis, I choose not to use the veto. She left the nominations the same, which means that Todd and Tola stayed up on the block. But <laughs> not necessarily going home. Uh, yeah, but they didn't know that yet. No. So Elijah was pissed. Oh my, oh my God. That misinformation. Frick, what the frickity flickity flip? Yeah, because he was like, Lexis, you mentioned like misinformation in your speech. Was I a part of any of that? Like I know I was planting seeds this week and she's like, well, I did hear some things. I heard that you told Bailey that I was trying to get her on the block. Oh, and stop, stop. Why didn't I just put up Bailey? Oh, what a fine kettle of fish. Yeah, <laughs> he was freaking out and he was like, oh my God, I've been played. Spicy V and Kayla played me. They've been trying to pit me against you and Matt. So he's spilling all this info about Spicy and Kayla. And I will say, yes, Spicy and Kayla were definitely stirring that pot. Well, yeah. But also... Elijah was not innocent here. No. Elijah was all like, yeah, I'd put up Matt. Like, let's do it. Yeah. I mean, he did say that. Multiple times. He also said if... He saw the receipts. Yeah. If uh, Lexis told me that she was going to take down Todd and then she turns around and takes down Tola, I'm going to put up Matt instead. I mean, he said it multiple times. Yeah. So it happened. But anyway, uh, yeah, he's freaking out. So news of this spreads throughout the house. Mm -hmm. And Matt is summoned... To talk to Elijah. Oh. But he, he stops and says something to Spicy along the way. Because he knows what's going on, basically. And he's telling Spicy. And she's like, wait, what? <laughs> what is Elijah saying about me? I've never done anything wrong in my entire life. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So then Spicy and Elijah have a chat. Well, she's trying to have a chat. She's like, can we talk? Like, what's going on here? And he's like, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to Dougie first. He was really pissy about it too. He was. He I mean, she was also later on, but she was also bringing in some attitude. They they, they were both rude to each other for she sure. She said, "You can talk to my ass." Oh, I don't think she said that to his face. No, but she didn't. Yeah. <laughs> she she was an ass tiger. She was like an ass tiger. You know, like how people <laughs> like a phone tiger. Phone tiger, yeah. but she's an ass tiger. All right. Well, now that all this chaos is in the house, mm -hmm. uh. We still got to figure out who's going, Todd or Tola. Again, this is before the power is brought into play. So the, the girls... The girls set up interviews for minus both Lexus. of the nominees. Right. They did not show Tola's because she's interview. she's too... <laughs> they did not show Tola's, Tola, Tola's interview. <laughs> we saw it on the It was uh, awkward. They were though. like, who would you put up? Look us in the eye and tell us. You know who I'd put up. No, tell us. Look in our eyes. It was very weird. Yeah. It was, it was a bit much. I'd put up Bailey. <laughs> I mean, that's what they think he's going to say. But he said Elijah. He said it to Bailey. <laughs> yeah. So they're talking to Todd. Mm -hmm. And Spicy is asking Todd, like, do you have any votes outside of this group? Because right. you're going to need them. We're only four if you can and even you get need us. five. Yeah. So he's like, well, I think I'll have Elijah. And... <laughs> They're like, we can't trust Elijah. Like, look what he's doing. He's throwing Elijah's us not, under the bus. Not voting. Like, well, he's only he is, the tiebreaker. Tie. Right. Yeah. But they're like, we can't trust that. What if it's 4-4 four, four, and then he screws but, us over and votes Elijah it out? Elijah told me. <laughs> so oh, then Todd. they were telling Todd, you're going to have to get Anthony and make this a unanimous vote. Not doozy. If you can get Anthony, everyone will do what he does. Everyone, look, do what we'll do what Doogie's doing. Boom. All right, so Anthony tells Goose. Yeah, you got played. Yeah, but he was telling him like you shame. need to clean this up. You know, don't be defensive here. Just kind of tell people, oh, it's hard being HOH. This is now, my first now time. Now you know who the wolves are. You and one of them, the biggest wolf of all, is Bailey. Got to get Bailey out. How do you get that from what happened? <laughs> Uh, because they're protecting her, and she's not even in our alliance. Uh, she yeah. doesn't even go here. That was something Elijah kept saying, like, why Bailey? Bailey, Bailey. I should have put her, uh... Flippity flip. I should have put her rear end up on the block right away. <laughs> her took us. Yeah. All right, so 
freaking Tola is creeping around super early in the house. Well, it was like 8.30. Was it? Yeah. That's what the Why time was everybody Sam else said. asleep? I guess they get to sleep till like 10. All right. Well, <laughs> he's creeping around when he should be sleeping, brushing his teeth. You know he swallowed his toothpaste. Uh, That's what it would appear to be because he puts his toothbrush down on the pool table. What if that drips on the felt? Oh. But yeah, and he must have swallowed that toothpaste, which grosses me out so much. But, uh, yeah, he notices that the executive veto is no longer behind the glass. The glass is broken, so he is running around looking under couch cushions, and it was just so ridiculous. I mean, I get it, because he's looking for, like, any sort of clue. He's on the block this week. Of course he wants to find it if it's up for grabs know, at this point. but did you see the size of the executive veto? It's not under a freaking couch cushion. <laughs> Or under a slice Can of paper. Can you imagine if it was just like wedged under a cushion and it's like all Oh, I found up? it. Look, it's all lumpy. Yeah, I guess he was looking for a clue or any sort of thing. But Ridiculous. As the morning went on, more and more people were discovering that the veto was gone. Spicy V. She was so excited she fell <laughs> over. She got knocked over. It was pretty funny. She got rolled over. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually... Uh, the house guests are told, dress up and... Better clean it up, co-cores, and get yourself to the Put on your, the, uh, your business, uh, casual, business casual, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Casual business. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had to hang out in the HOH room for a little while while BB set up the executive table oh, for board meetings. The special executive table. Did it remind you of the table in Rocky Horror when Eddie, dead Eddie, was inside the table? What, what if they pulled the cover off the table or something? There was no tablecloth. But imagine no. there was a tablecloth and it's like, ah, Eddie! <laughs> From the day he was born, he was trouble. Yeah. Well, who would be in the table? Vivek. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, everybody's freaking out when they see the executive table. Yeah. Cue the succession non-copyright music. They can't afford the <laughs> real succession music. It, I definitely think that this twist was inspired by the succession Absolutely. finale. You know? Absolutely. I'm sure somebody who works for the show was watching the finale and was like, oh my god, we gotta get some sort of like a boardroom executive right. twist on the show this season. Do you think it was Erica Bood? <laughs> he doesn't work there anymore. Oh, oh, wait, no, he does. He does. Trevor Boris does. Right, 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 right. I think Trevor Boris works for... Um, U.S. No, I think he works for, like, Canada, Canada's Drag Race now. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, that's cool. I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Lucky them. We love you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so Arissa pops up on the screen, and she says, One of you is going home tonight. <laughs> but Arissa, it's not even vote night. <laughs> So, the table, the, it's like the parting of the Red Seas. This was pretty sick, how the, opens, the veto came out of the table. It comes up. Do you think somebody was in the table? With the dry ice machine? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. All right. Do you think so? That would be so weird. I don't think so. It was probably, uh, you know, remote control. Yeah. Yeah. Remote control table. And maybe in the past, they would have had to have somebody in the table, but now this I is think they... Yeah. Exactly. Remember that whole robot thing they had coming out of the wall for William? Yes, the... <laughs> <laughs> right. And he was all like... Yeah. So this executive veto mm -hmm. pretty much has everything, including the kitchen sink in it. Like, they yeah, are but throwing... they don't know that. No, but they're throwing so much different... So many different elements in here. Mm -hmm. uh, and Arissa's like, this is something we've never done on the show before. Never done it before. Unprecedented. Right, so this executive power... It's in the table, by the way. Yes, <laughs> we mentioned that. Yeah. Um, it's going to be up for grabs, and like... It's for one, one or, or two. two. We'll have some power here. Wow. What? <laughs> so you know how they usually do the chain of safety? Like, that's been done. Now... Well, they had to do the chain of rejection, because they can't give everybody the power of veto. Mm-hmm. They have to take away the power of veto right. from everyone. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, of course. <laughs> but in reverse. But they're calling it the chain of rejection. Right. Starting I, with Elijah. The HOH. I just have a little bit of a bone to pick here. Mm -hmm. While this was very exciting um, and all that, mm -hmm. <laughs> and like the way that it turned out, I was like, okay. I feel like... Uh, you're basically just giving the majority alliance another power 
by putting this twist in here at this point in the game because yeah. obviously they're going to be able to pick off all the people that they don't want to have it and it's going to go right. to somebody in the majority alliance. Correct. And so, it did. And you do. Yeah, that's a bummer. Well, let's talk about how this chain played out. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Elijah gets uh, first. Mm -hmm. Now he has to name somebody who he doesn't want the power to go to. So he named Tola. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. He picks one of his own nominees because, mm -hmm. like, obviously those two are probably going to be mad at him, right? Right. <laughs> so then Tola, obviously, picked Bailey. Although Tola did look to Anthony. It def I was following that eye line, and it seemed like he was staring at uh, Anthony waiting Anthony, for instructions. what do I say? Yeah. That's definitely <laughs> what it looked like, which is so annoying. <laughs> yeah. So then Bailey, I'm shocked. I thought she would pick, I thought she would make a big move, but no. She picked Vivek. I mean, I get why she's anti-Vivek, but, like, how many times are you going to have the conversation about somebody needs to take a shot at Anthony, somebody needs to make a move? What exactly. So what's going on here? Exactly. So then, picked <laughs> Todd. Uh, again, like, why are you, you know that Todd is basically on his own. Why are you picking him? Poor gameplay. Oh, Vivek. Poor, poor gameplay. Yeah. So then Todd picks Lexus. Todd, what, what are you the doing? Frig, man? Yeah, and this was also like a moment. Mm -hmm. Why is no one picking either of the All Stars? Are you freaking kidding me right now, Todd? I was very surprised at Todd. Like, I know. Lexus, really? Why the frig did Lexus pick Matt? <laughs> this was Lexus's big moment because she had to choose: Do I pick one of the guys or do I eliminate a girl? Right. And this was pretty pivotal, in my opinion. She decided to leave the girls in it and pick Matt, and I think that that spoke volumes for her. I don't think that she would necessarily stick with the girls all the way moving forward. Um, I do think that this was very helpful for her game with the girls, for sure. But I think when it comes I mean, down to it, she might pick Matt. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she, she chose to eliminate Matt here, which was like a <gasps> moment. Yeah. The girls were not expecting that. Well, Matt picked Kayla. Do you think Matt was expecting that? Yes. Yeah. I think he'll forgive it because he's going to be like, oh, it was for your game. Like, but yeah. you're obviously with us when it counts. Of course. So then Kayla. Well, yeah, Matt picks Kayla, which I was like, right. oh, of course. Kayla had a backbone and picked oh, Anthony. Oh, my God. Yeah. So at that point, mm. she could pick between Anthony, Avery, and Spicy V. And we're just like sitting there thinking, you have freaking two all stars left. Pick one. In the final three. Like, what is this nonsense? So, so yeah, at least she went ahead and yeah. picked Anthony. Thank God. And then Anthony. Still had a ton of power because he got to pick who got the power between Avery and Spicy. And obviously, who do you think he picks? Avery. Well, he gave the power <laughs> to Spicy. Right. And she was just like, oh, my God, oh, me, I'm like, oh, why would Anthony do this? We're not until we're totally not working together. You do you know? think that this is going to be a wake-up call for people, or do you think they're just going to brush it off like they always do? They're just going to brush it off. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. This is the lamest cast ever. <sighs> this cast will be known for lameness. Yeah. So, okay, here's where things get pretty crazy. So, Spicy, as the executive veto holder. Right has the opportunity to save one of the nominees from the block. Right. She can also leave the nominations the same. If she wants. Right. But she can take one person down, and then that person would get to pick the new nominee. That's nuts. So the reasoning behind this cracked me up, because it was like, oh, because you're an executive now, like, you delegate power. Right. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> the show was also probably, like... Uh, these we can't give one person too much power. Exactly. Especially We've already done that. And especially because how know badly that turned out. It's going to go to one of the all-stars. <laughs> yeah. So this was great. I love that they did this. I did like that part of the twist for sure. I did too. So. I wish they would have waited to tell them. Imagine. That that was going to happen. Well, I don't think we would have been happy it. with the results though. Because Bailey would have been gone. Oh. <laughs> and it would not have been good. Okay, so everybody line up for your chance to talk to Spicy. Tola's all like, I'm on block, so I'm talking to her first. Right, so he, 
she <laughs> they go in the other room and he says, give it to me. I'll put up Bailey. And she's like, no, no. I don't <laughs> want Bailey up. Like, I don't want no. that. No, I want you to put up Vivek. So he's like, okay. But like, he, it was so unconvincing. Like he was definitely just going to turn around and do what he wanted. Yeah. I totally think he would have put up Bailey for sure. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So then Spicy and Todd have a chat and he said, I'll put up Vivek. Or, or Matt. Matt. <laughs> or I think he said Lexus, but Lexus wasn't even eligible right. because she had won the veto this past right. week. He so doesn't know the rules. <laughs> he, nobody knew the rules yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, she was like, okay, Vivek, so if I do take you down, put Vivek up. And he's like, all right, whatever. Yeah. I think Todd, at this point, is just happy to be there. So he'll do whatever. Todd was just going to do whatever anyway because Todd just wanted to be on the show. Todd is also legit pissed at Vivek, so. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so then Anthony runs in there. Of course he does. He's like, I think you should use it on Tola. You should use it on Tola. He'll put up Vivek. No, he won't. No. <laughs> he will not. But she was kind of like, I, I don't yeah, know what to do. Because later on, when Anthony was talking to Matt, Matt was like, she should use it on Tola. And Tola and, will put up Bailey, and we'll just pretend we didn't know. Like, And Anthony went, yeah, he was, like, smiling about it. Matt was smiling about it. And was just like, you guys are gross. Ew. Yeah. So then <sighs> Bailey and Spicy. Bailey wants Todd to come down off the block. She's like, you cannot give it to Tola. He picked me first. In the chain of rejection. Yes. Yeah, so, like, you cannot give him this chance. He's obviously going to pick me mm-hmm. to go up on the block. And Spicy's like, you know what? You're not wrong. Like, this is right. not good. Not a good situation here. So then there was a core girls meeting, mm-hmm. and they said, save Todd. Lexus, notably, was now in the girls meeting. Yes. And I think it was Bailey who was like, it was really respectful what you did for the girls out there. So it seems like she might be a little bit back in their good graces. We'll but see if it sticks. It. Yeah, we'll see if that actually holds up. But interesting that she's finally back in the meetings. Well, Bailey also said... Todd's going to put up Vivek, and we can still keep Tola. Keep Tola. Even though it would have been hilarious if they voted out Tola. I know, right? <gasps> so Matt tells Spicy, you better save Tola. You better do it, and he'll put up Bailey. <laughs> mm-hmm. And she's like, no, I don't want that. Yeah. Stop it. So now Spicy asks Arissa when they sit down at the table again, do I have to use it, Arissa? <laughs> And she said, no, no, no Victoria. How don't. boring would that be, though, if she didn't I know. use it? Oh, my God. I feel like Arissa was like, no, you don't technically have to use it. But you better, bitch. But are you trying to get our show canceled? Yeah, like, you really. better freaking use it. <laughs> exactly. So Spicy uses it on Todd. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. And we were like, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I feel... <laughs> Like, her using it on Todd... Was kind of a F you to Anthony? A little bit, because, like, Anthony expects people to do exactly what he said. He wants it done. Or there's going to be hell. So even though... <sighs> okay, well, let's just say... Okay, so Todd's Todd... not going to heaven! <laughs> yes. So even though Heaven's he didn't wait. get Bailey up on the block... Mm-hmm. He's he's pissed. I think he's pissed that I think so Victoria too. did not trust him and do what he wanted. Because he was also like, well, what if Todd puts me up? And she's like, he's not going to do that. He's going right. to put up Vivek. So I think Anthony that could was be a so problem. wetting it a little bit. Yeah, I think so too. So once Spicy gives Todd the humongous veto. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was. Yeah. It made Flav of Flav look like nothing. She is very loudly whispering in his ear, Vivek, Vivek. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of people probably heard that. But then it's like, okay, Todd, who are you going to put up? And he's like, Vivek. And Spicy's like, oh my God. <laughs> As if she didn't just whisper yell, does she want a Vivek up but on the block? But his speech was great. He it was, was like, great. this is for Dennis. Yeah, he said, um, And you he know, actually got his name right this time. Yeah. I think he said Dennis. This is a guy who turned his back on the one person who was with him when nobody else was. Yeah. This is for Dennis. And it was like, <gasps> and, and Vivek went. Vivek was like. <laughs> freaked out. He was freaking out. He was like out. Jerry Blank's dad. Yeah. All right. So Vivek goes <coughs> and talks to Anthony. He's like, did you do this? Am I going to be okay? 
Um, what about last week? I thought, like, since I threw my game away for you guys, I was gonna, you guys were gonna have my back. What's going on? You didn't have to do that. That was dumb. Do I still, do I still have you guys? Can I count on you keeping me? And they were like, no. <laughs> he was pretty shocked that Anthony, Spicy, and Kayla did not have his back. No. I mean, that's exactly what Dennis was saying on his way out. You're going to be going very soon. Maybe not next week. Well, Maybe we not the week know after. Be but soon. I know. <laughs> the right. swift kick in the ass of revenge. <laughs> but yeah, um, Vivek didn't want to hear it. He was like, no, I'm going to be good for weeks. I've set myself up here to go deep into I'm going this game. to the end. I'm going to the end, playing both sides. <gasps> this is my game. I'm playing both sides. Okay, I'm going to be real. As much as I would have loved to have seen Anthony, Anthony Matt, or Tola leave this week, this was also pretty satisfying. It was pretty satisfying, but I, I wanted the big fish. Oh, yeah, for sure. But I'll take this little sardine over. Yeah. over but knowing the... there was, like, no way we were going to get that, Vivek is an acceptable option. Well, he probably went to hell instead of going to heaven like Todd would have gone. Whoa! <laughs> All right, so Anthony, Matt, and Lexus, they're talking. Matt's like, what was that? We can't trust Spicy. Like, she she made a move that wasn't for us. This wasn't a move for us. She didn't have to use that. Why'd she do that? We can't lose Tola. So It would have been hilarious if they decided to vote out Tola instead of Vivek. I know. So, <laughs> so Vivek goes and talks to Bailey and Todd and is like, you should keep you should vote to keep me because Tola's going to be coming after you. He's not with you. And Todd. Ooh, Todd really stepped up tonight. Todd said, well, you're not with us either. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Flip. Yeah, Frick. flip it. <laughs> oh. Wow. What a fine kettle of fish. <laughs> so then Arissa says, all right, plead for your life. And Tola says, I've been nothing but loyal. Please give me a second chance. I mean, has he really been tested yet? No. <laughs> what has he done He hasn't up to this done point? anything. He hasn't won anything. He hasn't uh, supported anybody with, no. Just voted with the majority. Like, exactly. What, uh, you haven't really stuck your neck out for anybody. Like, okay, whatever. All right, so then Vivek. I threw away my game last week. Again, you did not have to do that. For some people. And um, Tola is going to come for you, so <laughs> keep me. All right, well, as if this couldn't get wild enough. <laughs> Arissa says, please, pull out your personal voting stations. We're doing a public vote this week. Oh, my God. OMG. Hello, traitors. Yeah, exactly. And it was a face-to-face -face vote reveal, to which Bailey said, <laughs> They didn't know this, um... Until after they cast their what votes. What would it freaking matter, though? Because, like, the person you're voting for is going home. Well, because it's going to show other people. Like, if you voted not with the majority, other people are going to see that. But everybody voted with the majority. I know, but... And they knew that that was going to happen. But if that didn't happen... Yeah. You know, it okay. would have revealed some stuff. But, of course, it had to be a, a unanimous vote. It was unani. Yeah. And by Vivek, don't let... Uh, that back that we said that we would have. <laughs> Where is it going? <laughs> Never mind. It's so late. <laughs> I get the meaning of what you're saying. Don't let the door hit you on the back that you we thought was, we had. Yes. Or something, like something like that. that thank you. Okay. <laughs> It's been a very long day. It has been. But yeah, he was all like, okay, I love you guys all so much. But then, um, like, what was with don't the... Don't love you. What was with the extra big hug for Anthony and the kiss on the head oh my and the God. handshake? Oh, my God. That was too much. Daddy's son. <laughs> it's too much, the Anthony Vivek thing. Like, he never had your back. Just stop. No. Too much. All right. So, Vivek and Arissa... He gave her a hug. You're not supposed to touch the host. <laughs> Julie would have never allowed it. I, this is uh, Canada, and Arissa is much more down to earth. Come okay. On. But has she hugged people before? Yeah. Okay. Arissa's for the people. Okay. <laughs> so Arissa said, I'm shocked. Are you? And he said, no. He said he wasn't surprised. Um, I would say otherwise. <laughs> Didn't he just say after that that he woke up and this is like the last place he thought he would 
Maybe he just means because, like, he was shocked by the twist, but not shocked that he was voted out. Like, I don't know. But I feel like he's just talking a big game here because he was definitely shocked. He thought he was going to make it so deep in this game. He thought he was with Anthony, Kayla, and Spicy V. Like, he was not expecting this at all. And then he said, my biggest regret was getting out Dennis. Maybe now in retrospect, (laughs) but... Damn straight. (laughs) Wow. I mean, seriously, though, the karma arrived very quickly. It was swift. Mm -hmm. Swift justice. Yeah. Instant justice. What do you think Dennis is doing tonight? I think he's voguing the house down. (laughs) Yeah. Love it. Walk that mother effing duck. Yeah. So now it's going to be interesting to see the fallout from this because there are some hurt feelings about how that all went down. Spicy V is going to have some explaining to do. But will we get any of that on the Digital Dailies tomorrow? No. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to get. So. I don't know. We'll probably have to wait till Friday. I'm hoping that, we'll but... get some fallout tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to get an HOH winner tomorrow because we're not going to find out. They didn't have anything about it in I'm tonight's gonna episode, I'm going to say no. You don't think until Friday? Friday. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Friday. And then we won't even get noms until, because yeah, the episode. they want to keep it for Sunday. So Yeah. A lot of rehashing tomorrow. We're probably going to see some more behind-the-scenes convos from the executive veto. Uh... I wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> well, let us know what you thought about all this in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll have your back. <laughs> but you won't have to walk <laughs> out the door. Yeah, so thanks again for watching, and until next time, much, much love. love.